you Pike viewers and welcome to the October edition of Bear TV News. I'm Marianne Fletcher. And I'm Jackson Hussey. And we're here to cover some of the most recent news around you Pike and the surrounding community. In today's show we will be featuring stories on the Pikeville Heritage Days Festival, how the Optometry School and the eSports team are teaming up, a Jenny Wiley Theater production, and the White Lightning Zip Line's Haunted Zip Line. But for our top story of the day, Bradley Loader attended the Heritage Days Festival here in downtown Pikeville. From Thursday, September 24th to Saturday, September 26th, Main Street hosted the third annual Hatfield McCoy Heritage Days. The three-day event commemorates the end of the infamous feud between the Hatfields and McCoys. We spoke to some of the attending artists who were showing their arts and crafts at the festival. My name is Sophia Taylor at Terror Faith Creations. I'm here to enjoy the festival and let everybody enjoy my creations. I make wreaths and Christmas trees, fire vases. My favorite thing about doing this is, is meeting all the other people and getting different ideas on new projects to make. This is a wonderful event. Anybody and everybody should come and join in on all the fun. The Hattonville McCoy Festival is still going on. Over the last few days, people have enjoyed food, appreciated local art, and watched live stage performances. The rain may have kept coming down, but that did not deter their spirits. It's the Hatfield McCoy um, Heritage Day, and since I'm considered the Hatfield McCoy artist, um, I was invited to be here. This makes my third year of coming. It's just a community event, you know, just uh, bringing in tourism and, you know, vendors and everybody just having a good time. If you missed out on the festival, be sure to attend it when it returns next year. For Bear TV News, I'm Bradley Loader. Be on the lookout for the Zombie 5K run Saturday, October 24th. Registration begins at 5.30 p.m. and the race starts at 7 p.m. You can also register early through the Appalachian SPCA website. There is a $25 registration fee and for the Halloween spirit, runners are encouraged to wear costumes. The U Pike Theater Department performed the musical Violet on October 8th, 10th and 11th in Christman Auditorium. Kim Willard was the director of the musical and this was the first production since I started the theater minor. This is a musical called Violet. Um, it played on Broadway in 2014 and it's about a girl who has a disfiguring scar on her face caused by an accident in her childhood and her journey to find beauty and joy and meaning and forgiveness. There are plans for new plays and musicals coming up. So go out and check one out. We'll now send it over to Adrian Smith for his coverage on a Jenny Wiley Theater production, Freshwater, the story of Nancy McCoy. This is the third and final installment of the Feud series. Jenny Wiley Theater has been very busy these last few weeks, putting together a play that envisioned the Hatfield and McCoy feud on stage. This is the third episode of our Feud series, which was actually an original piece by um, a guy in Canada and he was commissioned actually by the theater to write it so we're actually really excited I've been in the past two episodes of it and this will be the third one. The stage came to last turn 24 running until October 3rd. The play took a look at Nancy McCoy and her vital role during the feud while also taking a look at some of her inner demons as she tries to avoid coming forth with the truth. Tell me where he is hiding. Where is Chauncey hiding? I don't know. Where is he hiding? While this play may be over, there is surely more to come, like Ghost Stories, which premieres October 15th, and it runs till October 31st. Uh, so it's a group of ghost hunters who go to um, a haunted house uh, where Mary Worth lived, better known as Bloody Mary. So it really, it's, it's pretty cool. It resonates with the kids because every kid ever has played Bloody Mary. And just like the famous feud, sadly, I must bring this to a close. But like always, Pikeville, don't forget to stay classy. I'm Adrian Smith with Bear TV News. The next production Jenny Wiley Theater will be working on is called Ghost Stories, and that will take place from October 15th until the end of the month. On October 16th, SGA will be hosting a movie night on campus in Booth Auditorium. Showings will be at 4, 6, and 9 p.m. To vote for the movie that will be shown, download the UPOC SGA mobile app to view the poll and vote. Next up is the sports update. This week we will be highlighting the UPOC women's volleyball team.
part about being on the team, I guess, is when you come in, like the first thing you get is a group of friends. You're all kind of sisters and a family right off the bat. Something I love about my girls is that we're a unique team. We're all together, and uh, that separates us from the rest of the other teams in our conference. Coach Obed and Coach Haley, it's just, they're, they're our coaches, yes, it's professional, but they're also our best friends. My team is different just because we are like a family, we are a unique team, and we always play together, and you have to love that. You would want to join the UPI volleyball team because one, we're a great group of people. We have your backs for no matter what. But two, you learn so much more like life experiences. You learn time management, you learn how to work hard, and you learn that even though sometimes things don't go your way, you gotta keep fighting, keep working hard, and that's gonna like help you throughout life, not just in your sport or in your classroom. The UPI Volleyball team is a family. If you want to be part of it, we would love to have you here. Go Bears! Jackson, you had the chance to talk about how the Optometry School and the eSports team are teaming up. Is that correct? Yes, Mary Ann. Eye studies were conducted on these athletes to help gain inside information on their eyes to see if some needed contacts or a change in glasses. Here's a sneak peek into our eSports family. Since the opening of eSports at the University of Pikeville, it has already captured a lot of attention and gained popularity. The University of Pikeville is one of two schools that have set up a program that allows students to earn scholarships and play competitive online video games. Since its founding, the University has partnered with the School of Optometry, who have been administering eye exams to the players. I had the chance to meet with Dr. Eileen Kenzer and Eric Van Hoos as they explained the reasons behind the testing. When you play video games and you compete in gaming, there's a lot of hand-eye coordination that you need, a lot of eye movements, you need to be able to see the screen clearly, you need to be able to scan the screen appropriately, you also need to have a lot of awareness of what's going on in the screen, and all that stuff has to do with your visual system. If they're having a hard time seeing, we're going to get them the appropriate glasses and contacts. If they're having a hard time focusing and they get a lot of eye fatigue, helping them to increase their stamina on that. My goal is to help these athletes be better competitors, but also to allow them to use the skills that they're learning for, for their future careers. One of the things that we really worried that was that because of the number of hours that they spend you know, staring at those screens and playing the game, that they may have uh, put some undue strain on their eyes. Um, and so we, we checked into that with the eye tests. The eSports department and the optometry department have already formed a great partnership, and we really hope that in the future it's going to give us a great competitive edge that nobody else is really focusing on. I'm Jackson Helsey, and this is Bear TV News. Thanks, Jackson. On October 13th, Public Safety will be hosting a video game tournament in Christman Auditorium from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. To sign up for the tournament, go to the Public Safety Office or contact Alan Abshire. On October 9th, the Humanities Division of UPIKE hosted a major event on campus called Fall for the Humanities. The day consisted of a variety of activities. There were chalk drawings in record, a video presentation looking back at the history of UPIKE, a presentation on Spanish legends and folklore, a screening of 18 short films by film and media art students, and a bridge version of the play Dr. Faustus, a reception for artist Ben Bridges, and a screening for the film Cesar Chavez. The day's festivities concluded with a performance by the all-female bluegrass band Coltown Dixie in Booth Auditorium. Have you ever thought about starting your own business? The UPike Startup Challenge is a great opportunity to do just that. The Coleman College of Business is looking to inspire and reward innovative ideas, offering $15,000 in awards. I don't know about you, Marianne, but I'm pretty excited about Halloween, and the package definitely gets me in the Halloween spirit. I agree, Jackson, and I feel like Halloween will be here just before we know it. For the Haunted Zipline, we're doing tours at night. We have 6, 8, and 10 for the, the Haunted Trail. 
we've got everything decorated up there with uh, some spooky Halloween decorations, and then we may have some scares, surprises uh, in the woods up there. The leaves are changing colors. The air is becoming more frigid. Folks are coming out to the White Lightning Zip Line Haunted Zip Line in order to harness their fears this Halloween. All thing I got to say about the Haunted Zip Line is you better bring extra pair of breeches. It's gonna scare the pants off of you. There's many unique things about this particular zip line. The night tours are definitely different because most other zip lines just operate during the day and I don't know of any other zip line that has a haunted tour. You're just going at night basically. We've got a couple of lights up there lit up but you can't really see where you're going up in the hills just because it is so dark. Minimal lighting, just enough for safety. But it's, a, it's definitely an interesting experience. You can also purchase a package featuring both the Haunted Zip Line and the Haunted Trail for $35. UPLAC students can get a discount. You just have to show a form of ID and you'll receive 20% off. As long as you're 8 or older or weigh between 70 and 250 pounds, you're eligible for this frightening experience. Facing your frights in the night with Bay TV News, I'm Marianne Fletcher. The Haunted Zipline is a great way to quench your thirst for Halloween activities before October 31st. Don't forget to gear up and grab a GoPro to document your scary adventure while you're soaring through the mountains for only $19.99. Alright, that wraps it up for this edition of Bear TV News. Thanks a lot for joining us everyone. I'm Marianne Fletcher. And I'm Jackson Hussey, and we'll see you next time.